So last night we stayed in this little hotel just here and um, now I'm on the road trying to catch up with Nick. So walking up the hill now, eating some of mum's fruit salad. So we're just going to head up that hill uh, just behind the trees there and um, he's basically seen a bit of a grass patch there or there. Yeah it was awesome to land at the turn point and then after the turn point rust up the hill and the first patch of grass I found I launched and smashed it up here fairway which is great. I'm going to be really annoyed if we cross a stream close to the top because um, yeah I've probably got five or six litres in my bag at the moment which Nick is going to use as ballast um, to keep his paraglider at the upper end of the weight range which apparently makes it a little bit more efficient. Anyway birds are singing and I'm off to climb up to hopefully thermal up and get away Ideally, I'd get to Lermus uh, early to mid-afternoon because it's only 10 past 9 now and then continue on towards uh, Italy. Oh, just dropped another bomb, sorry about that. It might help the wind. <laughs> I've got grass tied to the lines to stop it falling down the slope. Yeah, a little bit of a chance with uh, the thermals, but I can't stay here all day. The valley, the valley wind will get me, so I'll give it a go. Looks like he's... Well, he's in the air. So obviously the hope is that he's going to get onto a thermal pretty quick and gain some height. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because... <laughs> Looking good so far! Woo! But it looks like he's off to an okay start. He's already... It's already a few metres above me. Meanwhile, Ben was hoping he wouldn't have to walk up the hill again. Pretty hard to figure, but I guess Nick is probably about 50 metres below me. So obviously he hasn't found the magic thermal just yet. And I'm not really sure... I'm not experienced enough with it to know whether or not I should be really nervous at the moment, but I'm feeling a bit... Uneasy. I'm pretty much correct now, the launch now. I'm pretty stoked to finally getting up. There's a few tennis meters. Went around this side of the hill and there's quite a breeze coming through. A few days or so, but so early in the morning the thermals are pretty weak. But you can see these clouds. It's just starting to work. Just, uh, so I'm soaring the, the wind now. It's a little bit more comfortable. Have to push the speed bar to get around. I've got a few landing opportunities, a few pre-launching, so get up there and jump. So yeah, the last one uh, on this ridge is where I launched, the side you can't see, and super technical pushing along the ridge, and now I'm getting up, I think, hopefully. Super turbulent here. It's going to be hard to get in front of this baby. It's going to get better through the day or what? Pretty good result. <laughs> Didn't want to rip the wing on the rocks. Uh, maybe as the day goes on, the wind will ease and mix out a bit. We'll just see, but yeah, looked like I could have lost a lot of height quick or, or worse then, so I'm pretty happy with my position. Actually, just spotted a couple of paragliders really low down there. Tell you what, I reckon having the <laughs> helicopter is a good motivation. And another motivation is finding the track. It was uh, pretty hopeless bashing through the juniper. Right, I've just seen everyone fly past. So that little turbulence before, maybe it was just that wind starting to mix in and they didn't seem to have much trouble up there. I tried to wait for a puff of wind, but really this launch was too shallow and I didn't make it. Oh, 
This time I waited for a better thermal cycle and used every last inch of height that I could. Meanwhile, the others were flying on further ahead. Thanks guys.